So shout out to Irene as well, my opponent, who's trying to break a thousand followers on Twitch. I think she's really close, actually. Let's see. Oh, wow. So I'm not intending to stream snipe, but this is uh, this is Irene's follower account. So if you want to be among her top thousand followers, I guess it's not Imros too late just go. yet. Okay, let me hide Irene's Love stream. Content. So I'm not actually sniping. Complicated position. Okay, I'm gonna maybe go into a Stafford. She usually plays this move. Toggy, 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 toggy. Oh yeah, amen. Toggy, toggy. Thanks, Brian. Okay, let's play. A... If I play this, she likes to play Bishop B5, so I'll play Bishop C5. Hey, Eric, what would you say is the best way for someone to improve at around 1900 ELO? Ooh, uh, play players. You should really strive to play players above expert level. Like when I was 1900, I would play in tournaments uh, where I'd play up a section. So rather than playing like under 2000, I would play under 2200. Um, I know maybe it's different these days online. Um, but if you can really try and play stronger players, you'll you'll begin to see kind of what it takes to to get to next level. Um, and yeah, at that level, sometimes it, it, it can depend more on the player. Like it's hard to generalize. Um, of course, there's always different areas to work on, but some players you need to work more on openings. Sometimes it's more exploring um, end games a bit more or just positional play. But usually at that level, like there's clear tendencies or weaknesses to address. Okay, so I'm gonna avoid castling and then maybe go for the early G5, G4 attack. Just sometimes what I like to do in these uh, more symmetrical positions. So avoid the symmetry. Thank you, Smashing Ain. Gifting to Sibin. C C bean. Hype train. Oh yeah, so much hype. Thanks for the hype, people. I think it's okay to leave the bishop here. So if we trade, then I get a nice kind of control over the d4 square. And thank you, Johan Mel. Or Johannes Mel. New sub at tier one. And thanks, Toggy, for the hype train bits. Did Twitch change their hype train thing? I see like random gifts of things jumping up and down. I don't know if other people see that. Whoa, Congrats it's Toggy. Oh, thanks so much. Followers on YouTube, Rose, thanks, Toggy. Really appreciate that. 5,000 bits. Yeah, um, it's actually, it, it, it got to 351 today. Um, I think the channel's been averaging like one to 2,000 new subs per day. Um, so yeah, the growth is pretty crazy. But thanks to everyone who's been so supportive and subbing and cheering um, on, on Twitch, but also, um, I guess you can't cheer on YouTube, but subbing on YouTube. Okay, maybe, how to do this? Maybe this move. Just want to throw as many pieces as possible. Oh yeah, we can get some Tagi emotes in the chat. <laughs> also, uh, less than an hour ago, I broke a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Maybe I can show what I mean. Um, I, I have a new YouTube channel, which I haven't promoted like so much yet. Whoa, it's trying to learn. Thanks, trying to learn. Gifting, gifting so many subs. Thanks so much. Oh, trying to learn. I saw your message, um, and then I got distracted. But uh, I'll I'll reply. Um, trying to learn has a cool YouTube channel uh, with like mashing up uh, chess commentary. Um, it might might contribute to some of my content, but uh, okay. Let's let's focus on the game. Maybe knight f four. I just want to go after g2 because it's only defender as a king. I can potentially have three attackers. And Mikhail Balakirov, welcome back. Gifting, gifting five subs. 
Okay. Am I winning? I've been very unfocused this game, but I think I'm winning. Because G3, the, the F1 is pinned. I just take it with something. Um, think about Irene. She, she's a fighter. Like It's hard to actually convert winning positions against her. If it takes, it's really close. Oh, there's a cool idea. I think it works too. I, I think I can take. Look at this idea. Please work. So it takes queen h3. Originally, I was about to reject this because queen f3. But then there's a really cool move, rook g3. And there's a pin like this. And knight's also pinned. Queen's attacked. If takes, takes, it's a fork. Uh, tricky move, but just king d8 should provoke resignation. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't see that move. Wait a minute. Am I not winning? I thought she was going to resign. I have to take and then move here. I think it's still winning because she can't defend the knight. There's this check, but then I run and hide. It's so weird, like the pawn's been pinned for so long. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, I am losing now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, wait, we're, we have one second increment, so I can live on the increment or die on the increment. Free pawn. I'll play this move. Okay, I think I'm winning again. Wait, it's still weird though. What is this game? There we go. Now I'm winning. But you can never count your chickens before they hatch. Okay, now I'm definitely winning. The chickens have hatched. Okay. <laughs> what a game. I was a little bit uh, distracted that game. Uh, so much hype in chat. Whoa, it's, it's GM Hikaru. Subbing for seven months. Thank you, GM Hikaru. Also, good game to Irene. Um, I don't know what happened there. What was that, this game? So this is kind of the new cool feature on, on WeChat. They color code moves. So it's easier to see where the, the moments were. Bishop c4 is a blunder. <laughs> Bishop c4 is a, a blunder because she... She didn't accept or want to go into Stafford, uh, which she objectively should have. Look at this graph. A graph it represents like um, probably some mountain range in Iceland. I love fights like that one. Nice win, Eric. Oh, thank you. Thanks, double upons. 750 bits. Yeah, so this is, like, I guess, for the Stafford players who. Um, who maybe get these positions when White doesn't go into a Stafford. Level uh, five done. This is kind of the style of of how I like to play, like the early push. Um, I'll send another challenge, I guess. Wait, I'm black again? I'm black again. Okay, I'll mix up the opening. We'll play um we'll play G6. Okay, let's play let's play this opening. It's called the Norwegian Rat. Um, because e5, knight h5, it looks like just a terrible opening. Like, black, black moves the same piece twice and puts a knight on the edge. But in return, white's a little bit overextended. Now there's a target. Uh, I am threatening to take. If knight here, there's probably bishop g4. So it's an interesting line. Also, Aaron Pilgrim, gifting to cool club 01. Thanks, Aaron Pilgrim. Welcome back. Yeah, it's a few years ago. Like Magnus was playing this in a lot of games before people like fully understood how to punish it. Um, and there's many cases where Black just allows White to take and win a pawn, and then in exchange, Black gets a file, potentially the um, or obviously the bishop pair. So. In some regard, this is kind of a gambit. 
I and play chess badly hey. learn by watch you. Oh. Well that's nice. Yeah, sometimes the, the best way to learn something is to just watch how how uh masters do it. Um this doesn't just apply to chess, just any any sort of field. Like cooking or any other sport. Ciao from Italy. Thank you for the great content. Oh, thank you. Ciao. Ciao to Italy. I've never been to Italy. I've never even tried learning Italian. <laughs> I don't think I know too many Italian words apart from fianchetto. But uh, Italy is high on my bucket list of, of countries to travel to. Wow. Okay, Irene's being aggressive. F4. Interesting move. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking about there. This is only safe square. Okay, so now she's accepting the gambit, which kind of makes me happy. So I feel like I'm just more comfortable being down a pawn these days. So I could... No, taking's bad. Um, this move is met with knight e2. So maybe just knight f6 first. If queen g5, I play rook g8. And because white gave away the light sword bishop, uh, my light sword bishop should be fun to play with. If I can figure out how to best approach this position, like maybe this move now, but then queen b5. Wait, queen b5 takes, takes this, this, this. I think it's okay. There's also queen b5 takes, takes, takes c4. I take on e3 and then the knight gets trapped in the end and I fork in the end. Bishop d4 better move. Eight months. Play rook g8. I think it's very likely my king will just kind of hide on f8. You see my queenside castle here. Yeah, e7 can be a, an issue. If I, if I play bishop g4, knight f3. Mm. Okay, let's play a6 first. Ah, this is probably not going as I hoped, but there's still some pressure. Like bishop f5, queen c7 will defend and help attack in conjunction with b5. That's something to play for. Uh, she has this move, and then queen d7, I think I'm okay. And very soon I, soon I should play king f8. Also, thank you, Peace Links. Welcome back. Been seeing Peace Links in Irene's chat. And hardly fair. New sub. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm kind of... Kind of under pressure. G4, yeah, she's threatening to trap my bishop. Play this move. This kind of gives white the g5 square, but it does prevent g4. And white has so much initiative here. Okay, let's hide the bishop. f5 might be coming. The queen is always tied down to the pawn. I do have this move. Rook c8 first. There's a trap. If g4, I can take twice, and then queen takes, I have bishop h6, winning the queen. Okay. Hand waving. Hey, that may have been just a gambit to open up more lines. Oh, hand waving. Okay. Uh, knight e5 looks like a nice move. There's also bishop e5. Probably knight e5. 
Now I'm blocking e-file, so my queen now has mobility, threatening to take to probably take the pawn. Yeah, it's such a solid square for the knight. Don't hurt me. Queen, where to move the queen? Uh, maybe this square. I'm calculating uh, takes, takes. Oh, there's knight g5, man. That was getting so messy. No, I flagged. Arr. I could have taken maybe, but the bishop and the queen were hanging. <laughs> I was too slow there. There were so many targets in the position. I wonder... I'm not seeing any win. I mean, these pieces are, are ripe for attacking, but my queen... I'm also being attacked in the final position. Yeah, White's winning here. Whoa, accredited lime. Credited lime. Oh, like um, a citrus fruit. Good afternoon. Thank you for the five dollars. Was I losing? Oh, I was better. Yeah, once I got the knight to e5. Oh, that was a blunder. Oh, queen h5 could trap the bishop at rook h8. Wow. So a combination of queen h5 and knight e6. That's epic. Bishop f6 and then. 94. Look at this. My king's completely stuck. The pawn's pinned. Can I play this move? No, I can't because she takes and takes. That would have been so nasty. Like, why well, he's just squeezing me from all directions in this line? Good game. Maybe we'll do one more. Because I've been black both games. Okay. Okay, final game. So the first two games I was black. I guess this is a tiebreaker. Uh, what to play? I'll play e4. She's. I think she's been playing e5 more. And now... Yeah, she might play d6. Oh, she's playing a Petrov. But she she plays normal Petrov. I've I've seen her games like in in real life. Um, I'm gonna play Bishop C4. This is known as a, the Bowden Kizaritsky. It could go into a, a Stafford Gambit. We'll see how she how uh, prepared she is. I could have uh, maybe considered playing the Kashrin Gambit too. Okay, so I'll have maybe a Stafford gory, Gambit gory, up at gory, tempo. Gory, 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 gory. Oh, hey, it's Gari. Shout out to Gari. Welcome I back, Gari. Your content and when you sip tea, thanks for everything. Oh, I'll sip more tea just for you. Thank you. Good bean. Wait, is this a move? So I'm going to be down a pawn. I don't think I've seen this move before. Because people have asked me like what to do in, in this position. And knight d6 is usually not a move I've ever recommended. But maybe it's playable. Castle first. And bishop e7 probably coming. Yeah, we might get kind of a equal position. One million Twitch subs. One, sure, why not? I don't think I'll ever hit a million Twitch subscribers. YouTube subscribers, I think, is more likely. Okay, I want to play aggressively here. Punish this knight for being awkward. Not exactly sure how, though. Hey, this move. We trade. Problem is, there's might have five in a lot of lines. 
So maybe I'll play this move, just trying to win back the pawn. If f6, which probably won't be played, then black has a hard time castling. Okay. This reminds me of some like anti-Berlin variation. I kind of want to go crazy here. I mean, there's some logic to this wow, move. So cool, lol. Oh, you're so cool too. Thank you, Aphelion Streams. I play Rook D5 as well. <laughs> Rook D5 is a funny move. I think I'll play Rook D5 and just for the lulls. Because it prevents Knight F5. It also prevents C6. It's just kind of an awkward square for the Rook. But maybe it'll confuse her. Ooh, b6 I forgot about. Now I'm tempted to take. Which is not probably a good move. Queen g4 maybe. d3 first. Okay, the rook is hopping around. g6 expected. I'll probably move back to h3. Okay, complete development. Mm. I missed uh, rook h7. Unless... Yeah, rook h7 I should have played. Because if, if king takes, I have horse mate. Because here, here, here. I'm still threatening this, though. When she played this, I just saw that the back rank... Ooh, okay. That's a welcome surprise. I saw the back rank could be an issue. Um, so if king takes, I check here, check, king goes back, and then I mate. Bishop controls g8 in that line. Um, she might be most likely to play rook e1, but then I take and then win f7. So, yeah, I, I think she should have played g6 sooner. Probably would have been a better uh, better option. Oh, okay. We're going to have some fun here. So I don't need to take that bishop. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even need to... I can start with this move. Puzzle rush. Or puzzle storm, I should say. And then this. Is she going to resign, or will she let me display my work of art? Please don't resign. Please. One legal move. Okay. It's very courteous. Okay. <laughs> so my rook proved to be useful. I was going to say, that's usually something you shouldn't do with like moving the rook so much in the opponent's territory. But yeah, the rook was able to sacrifice itself for a good cause. Okay, maybe we'll do one more. We'll make it, um, yeah, four, even four games. Last game, at least in this series. Been wanting to mix up the openings. Um... I'm running out of fun things to play. Maybe I'll play an O'Kelly. O'Kelly is usually not the type of thing you should play against a strong player, though. Oh, she's playing knight c3. Okay. So O'Kelly is a6 against knight f3. But a6 against knight c3 is um, actually usually what I play anyway. Also, thank you, Aspen Magic. Appreciate the bits and the kind words. And thanks to the fish twenty seven ninety six. Have I seen the Jonathan Trance New Berlin? I have. I've been meaning to look into it. It looks like a really interesting, obviously dubious, but really interesting line. Um, yeah, Knight H three is probably a good move. Play this in D five. Give Eric a compliment. 
Alexa, give me a compliment. You're so sweet. You're like the corner piece of a brownie. Just right. Oh, thanks for that. I don't know if people heard that. It was kind of quiet, but... She called me the corner piece of a brownie. I don't even know what that means. Alexa, volume 7. Alexa, give me another compliment. You're so swell. When you go for a walk, surfers ride in your weight. Hmm. That makes me a little bit more confident, I guess. Heightens my self-esteem. Yeah, apologies if it was still too quiet. Okay, let's uh let's continue developing to stay focused. I'm gonna try and keep my plus score. So generally white plays f4 and then uh black plays some combination of knight f5 and h5, discouraging g4. If g4 right away I have knight h4. So I had this structure recently. I think I had this against Nemo. Um, this is kind of the, the quintessential structure from when you play a6 on move 2. This is kind of what I'm dreaming of. And the play kind of flows very nicely. There's no bishop e3 because of knight controls. If king h1, I might have kind of fantasizing about h4. Probably not yet, though. Bishops better align with these things. But sometimes if this diagonal opens, there is this like crazy h4, knight g3 idea. Uh, she probably wants to play... Wait, how to make this work? Play this move. Whoa, the fish. The fish 2796 gifting 10 subs. Thank you, the fish. Really appreciate that. Who just subbed themselves. Also, thank you, AB Cusack. Welcome back. This move. Wait a minute. Seems close to like crushing, but calculating this, this, this takes, takes. Doesn't quite work. I want to make it work. I shouldn't be spending so much time here. Maybe queen... Let's try this. Not sure after d4... So this, this, or this, and then this is something to keep in mind. Wow. Oh, the position's so pleasant. I just want to savor it. I'm thinking d4 here. It kind of closes things down. Maybe I could play a4. <clears throat> like, white's really stuck. I shouldn't have been spending so much time. Oh, wait, takes, takes. Yeah, let's take. Queen's tied down to the knight. So now the diagonal's open, which I can reposition the bishop. I don't care about that pawn. I just care about mating the king now. It's kind of annoying. Have this move. Queen might get stuck. I've learned so much watching your streams and YouTube uploads. Hmm. Oh, good Keep to hear. The amazing work. Thank you, Heroes MD let's Spoots. Go. Let's go. Okay, let's not flag this game. But I'm unpinning the knight so I can attack Thank you everything. For all the content. Learned a lot from your channel. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Yeah, thanks for all the positive, kind words. Makes me happy. Let's play this move now. 
hitting the queen, hitting the bishop. I still want to play this move. Knights are now don't connected. Flag, don't flag, don't flag. I know, I know, I know. Queen has to move back, I think. Oh, there's a cool idea. Okay, so queen a4, expected. I mean, what else to do for white? Oh, wait a minute. I have a few cool ideas. But queen a4, I was looking at h4, g4, and then h... Wait. Either h3 or knight g3. And takes, takes, knight h3, rook h3, and knight, knight e2 mate in the end. Is this force mate? I think it's force mate. So takes, takes, knight h3 only legal move. Takes, king g1, knight e2 mate. Oh, it's such a beautiful mate. <laughs> this. Let's go. That was such a nice finish. I was kind of dreaming of this, like, back when... I mean, back when I got this setup, it's kind of one of the main ideas. And it came to life. Okay. So, that will probably go on YouTube. Sorry, Irene. Irene has to be such a victim Hi, YouTube. of uh, of this masterpiece. Um, but shout out to Irene, who's also streaming. Uh, she's been me this. many times in also beautiful fashion. Um, so if this goes on YouTube, I'll link her stream and her YouTube channel in the video description. Get ready to shave your head only 996,757 oh, no. subs to go. Oh, on Twitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm ready. I'll have to invest in maybe a better razor or scissors. No, razor. Might be hard to shave with, with scissors. Okay, uh, YouTube people, say hi to Twitch chat. Twitch chat has been being so happy and also saying hi to YouTube. I connected all the level 5 emotes, nice. Yeah, hi YouTube. And, oh, thank you Megatron. 54. Subbing with Prime. Oh yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. It supports the channel. I do appreciate the Prime subs.